Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will make skeleton loader, and after this, we will load HTML content on web page, by using PHP script, with Ajax jQuery. Currently, we can see many social media website like, YouTube or Facebook, when page has been load, then on web page, first we can see blank page has been load with skeleton. And after some time, it has been load data on web page, so we have inspired by that web page load feature, and here we will discuss, how to make skeleton loader, and then after how to load data on web page. For make this feature, here we have use placeholder loading, style sheet library. This is our testing database, here we have post table, and in this table we have already store some data, we will fetch data from this table, and load on web page, after skeleton loading. This our working folder, here we have two PHP file like, index.php and fetch.php, and here in images folder we have store post images. Now we have open index.php file, and here we have already, include jQuery library link, bootstrap for style sheet library, and placeholder loading style sheet library. Here in this division tag, we have add id attribute is equal to, dynamic content, under this tag, first we will display skeleton loader, which look like data will load, and after some time data will be load, using Ajax. Now we have go to jQuery code, and here we have make skeleton function, it will make skeleton loader. Under this function, we have first define output variable is equal to blank value. Below this, we have write for loop, and under condition, we have write count variable is equal to zero, count variable value is less than five, and count variable value increment by one. Under this loop, we have write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like, division tag, with class is equal to, ph item. After this, we have again write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like, division tag, with class is equal to, ph column 4. This class is for making grid. For display loading image skeleton loader, here we have write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like, division tag, with class is equal to, ph picture. For display loading content skeleton, here we have write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like, division tag, with class is equal to, ph row. For display main title loading content skeleton, here we have write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like, division tag, with class is equal to, ph column 12 and big. Same way for display, loading content description skeleton, here we have write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like, division tag, with class is equal to, 
pH column 12. For make display multiple line of content description skeleton, we have simply copy this line, and paste three times, so it will display loading paragraph content skeleton. This code will make loading content skeleton, which HTML code has been stored into this output variable. Now we have write return statement, with output variable, which is output of this function. Now here we have write, dollar with division tag id dynamic content, with HTML method. And under this method, we have called make skeleton function, so when page has been load, then this function will called, and it will display content load skeleton on web page. Friends, here we can see when page has been load in browser, then on web page we can see data load skeleton on web page, which we have seen many social media website. Now we want to load content, after some time, in place of skeleton, for this we have go to index.php file. And here we have make load content function, with limit variable as argument. Under this function, we have start write ajax request, with first option url set to fetch.php, so it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, and here we can define data sending method, so here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and here we can define which data, we want to send to server, so here we have define limit variable as data send to server. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function will be called, if ajax request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write dollar, with division tag id dynamic content, with html method, and under this we have write data, it will display content on web page. Now we have go to fetch.php file, and here first we want to make database connection, so here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to nuke to class with three argument in first argument we have write mysql host is equal to local host and database name set to testing user name set to root and password set to blank value after making database connection we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function, with dollar post limit variable, if this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to, select star from post table, order by id in ascending order and with limit dollar post limit variable value this query will fetch data from post table and below this query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement under this we have write dollar query variable it will make query for execution. Now for query execution, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute above query. 
After query execution, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method it will return query execution result now we have write dollar output variable is equal to blank value under this variable we will store post data in html format for fetch data from dollar result variable, we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar output variable, and in this variable, we have append this HTML code. First, we want to display post image. So here we have write image tag, with source is equal to, images folder slash dollar row post image variable, it will display post image. After this, we want to display post title, for here we here we have write dollar row post title variable. Now we want to give link to this post title, so here we have write anchor tag, with href is equal to, dollar $row post URL variable. After this, we want to display post description data, so here we have write dollar $row post description variable. So, here we have store post data, and convert it into HTML code and store under this dollar $output variable, now we want send to Ajax request. For this, here we have write echo statement, with dollar $output variable, it will display post data on web page, after skeleton content loader. Now we have go to index page, and here we have write set timeout function with 5 second. Under this, we have called load content function with argument 5, so after page has been load in browser. Then it will call this load content function, after 5 seconds of time interval, now here our code is ready, so we have check output in browser. Friends, here first we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page, here we can see skeleton content loader on web page. After page loading, it first display content loader skeleton on web page, and after 5 seconds, it has load content on web page. This type of feature, we have mainly seen many social media website, so if you have make any web application, in which you have load data on web page. Then before loading of data, you can load this type of data load skeleton on web page, and after this you can load data on web page, this feature will increase your web application user interface. So, in this video tutorial, we have discussed, how to make skeleton loader, and after this load content on web page, by using Ajax with PHP script. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also.